hummus? Yes. That's what it is. Would you like any chili? some falafel balls. I couldn't believe how delicious they were. My, my children, uh, they're very fussy, but they love them as well. So I'm going to have to taste something. So you um, can put the falafel in a pita, uh -huh. in a uh, box or on a plate. So in a pita, yes. in a box or on a plate. I'll have all three, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> I recommend you, it's on a plate. It will come with all the salad here, hummus, chili, so everything. You've convinced me I'm going to take falafel, so I'm going to take falafel on a plate to eat in, please. Um, how much is that going to be? Uh, six pounds. Just six pounds. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's sauerkraut? Sauerkraut, yes. What is sauerkraut? White cabbage, pickled, and not some pickles. The hummus, and a green chili. Yes, she loves it. Yeah, she loves it. I can cash it Is that a microwave? Or? Uh, it's an oven. This is tahini we made here. Everything is made here. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it's good. Thank you, sister. God bless you. A bit of bread. It's been warmed in an oven, not a microwave, so it's got that freshly baked scent coming off it. Tahini sauce, red cabbage, lettuce, gherkins, hummus, green hot chili sauce, sauerkraut, red onion, the falafel. Let's cut into it and see what the inside looks like. Tell you what it tastes like. Okay, so it's a little bit different to what I was expecting. I'm used to falafel balls which have a lot more spices, a lot more herbs inside. This is a classic yellow falafel. It's been perfectly fried, so it's got that crisp outer coating as soon as you bite into it. It's got a satisfying crunch, quite lightly spiced, but it's still got flavor. The inside, still very warm, soft and fluffy as well. The hummus. So it's the kind of hummus I like because it hasn't been finely ground or blended. So you still got some texture from the chickpeas, citrus flavoring from the lemon juice I've used in there. Very flavorsome. So let's have a taste of the sauerkraut. So the sauerkraut, very lightly seasoned with salt. There's an overpowering taste of vinegar. I'm guessing that the sauerkraut has been pickled for a long time because it's very soft. It's lost the crunch that a cabbage usually has. The red onion. So I have to say I like the onion because it's been marinated in lemon juice and it's lost that onion heat. Pickled cabbage. 
red cabbage has also been pickled in lemon juice. I was expecting both of these to be in vinegar, but interesting to have it pickled in lemon juice because it's got that sharp tartness. So let's have a taste of the sauce that I've been avoiding. The chili sauce, it looks like it's going to be hot. Let's have a little, a light taste of it and see what it tastes like. The chili sauce is the fire. Very fiery, extremely hot. It's actually so hot. I'm going to have to have a little bit of the falafel there. The hummus. Turn down the chili heat. Let's have a taste of the curry and the pickled cucumber. So the gherkin tastes really special. It's very thinly sliced. There's an overpowering taste of vinegar, but then it's got a sweetness, a sugary sweetness, which cuts through the vinegary taste. Some white mustard seeds as well. I really like these gherkins. Homemade tahini sauce. There's an overwhelming taste of sesame seeds, a very creamy, sesame flavoured texture to it. Quite salty. I've cut the pita bread in half. It opens up really well. So, first thing I suppose I can put in there. Hummus. Touch of that chilli sauce. We do this quite a lot at home, uh, making falafel wraps or falafel in pita pockets. I think I'll go for the falafel next. It's still warm. The sauerkraut. The onion. And cabbage. Definitely have some of those delicious gherkins. A little bit of salad. I think it deserves one or two more falafel. That's fully loaded. But I think I've got a little bit of space to add just a few more toppings. I'm not going to put any of that chili sauce. the pickled onions, cabbage, lettuce and the gherkins. A drizzle of that delicious tahini sauce. Let's just have a taste of the bit of bread by itself. So the pita bread, because it's been heated, the inside is really soft and fluffy. That's how it dipped with the hummus. So I have to say I would be happy with the pita bread and the hummus just by itself. So let's have a bite of the delicious falafel in pita which I've just put together and see what it tastes like. The combination of flavors just come together. It's like a flavor explosion in my mouth. So it's absolutely delicious. It's full of flavor. It's so delicious, I'm going to take another bite. Even though I've had a taste of all the ingredients separately, it still hits you as a surprise when it all comes together so perfectly. Falafel with all the fillings, genuinely, truly, absolutely delicious. I have to say the falafel wrapped, absolutely delicious. Um, everything just came together perfectly. This was fire. It's, it's the chili. It has to come with a warning, man. It has to come with a warning. Like the fact that you keep all your fillings and your ingredients for the fillings undercover. So it's not exposed to the All these little things make a big difference, man. How long have you been here? We've been here for two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Why haven't I come here, man? Why haven't I been here? Now you know. I, mean, I was guessing that there may be a falafel feast and I had a falafel feast. Thank you very much. Very welcome. Until next time, God bless you. Bye-bye.